recording now. All right, good morning and welcome to Wabash Talks. We are with uh, Mitch Feigert and also with Judy Ward. They are here from uh, the Kiwanis Club. Is that the start of Is that the whole thing? But it's Southside Park Project. Southside Park Project. Okay. All right, so Mitch, how are you involved in this thing? Uh, you know, I, when I live across the street, so I think when the conversation started, uh, Jordan Tandy was one of kind of the, the beginning imagine, imaginaries of this project. And so um, being uh, on city council, uh, reached out to me and, and asked if I had some interest in, you know, partnering with him to just come up with a plan and a thought. And so him and I had several uh, cups of coffee, uh, you know, went over to the park, got some ideas. And then um, Jordan's involved uh, on the Kiwanis Club. They've since recruited me as one of their newest members, uh, but Jordan then took, I think, the idea back to the Kiwanis Club, and, and they had some interest, and I moved uh, things forward on the city side, and uh, it's all come together pretty quickly then. And Judy Ward, you're kind of a big thing in Kiwanis, not just locally here. I think you've got something going on here, right? <laughs> oh, I do at this point, yes. Now I have eight clubs instead of one. <laughs> so you're a regional then? Uh, uh, they call it a division. Division. Okay. So we're the Potawatomi Division. Okay. Uh, and I have spell that for me. No, I'm just kidding. You don't have to. <laughs> I've learned to do that. <laughs> yeah, I bet you have. All right. So you're part of the, uh, the, the Qantas, obviously, locally here. Glad that you got him involved. And, right. of course, Jordan. And you guys do the pancake breakfast. And you do all kinds of projects. We do. Uh, and when we did Hannah Park two years ago, our, our thought was at that time that once we got that project completed, we would start raising money again and save toward doing another park. So mm -hmm. really this has been a two-year thought mm -hmm. process, but we're just now actually getting it started with the help of Jordan spearheading and Mitch being kind of a co-chair on that. And then we do have a committee of Southside residents as well as Kiwanis members. Well, it's nice. And you know, in, in the day and age of where we're trying to get livability a big thing in Wabash and mm -hmm. obviously a focus on downtown, there are some residents outside the downtown area that uh, would like to see us do some things. Hannah Park is one that was off of the downtown area. And now Southside Park, Mitch. This is yeah. going to be exciting out there. Yeah, you know, that's uh, something I've talked about for a long time with Southside. Wabash has done great improvements downtown. Even we look north at the Field of Dreams. And, you know, for Southside, those families, it's not easy to walk. Uh, even to the river walk, you know, you have some some pretty uh, steep hills there, and so those families really are, you know, kind of left with what we have available on the south side. And so, being uh, their representative on city council, you know, we've talked about issues, sidewalks, other things, but the park always came up as something that you know those families. We have a really high um, demographic of young families on south side, families with kids, and the park really had gone into disrepair. Uh, equipment is is broke. Um, things just don't look nice anymore. And uh, and so I know I had talked early on about, you know, the idea that park needed to be renovated. And so when Jordan came to me and, um, you know, had this idea, um, I was obviously excited because it's going to be great for all those families who live uh, on the south side. And, you know, may even attract families who don't live on the south side who just think it's a cool park and want to come over and enjoy it. Now, Judy, uh, the, the Qantas, they were involved in the Hannah Park project, right? Right. We kind of spearheaded that and talked with at that time, Todd Titus, to help us with the Parks Department. And so we're the ones who did the fundraising to get it started and wrote the grants and things for that project. And I think we geared it about $50,000 for that. Okay. Had a little left, so that's kind of helped us with the 10 that we have pledged to do this park to get it started. Awesome. Well, great idea. The city matched it with another 10, so we have 20000 at this point. Nice. And... We're, again, hoping for about 50 total, so we have a lot of work to do yet. Well, that's great. Mitch, obviously, you live right across the street from it, <laughs> and uh, I'm a South Sider, and uh, I try to walk a, a lot out there, and W.C. Mills has that great big grassy area, but right. you, you, you see that park tucked in behind the fire station, or maybe you don't see that park tucked yep. back there. What a great location, though. You've got 24-hour uh, people sitting right. right there. Yep, and that's one thing, uh, you know, as Jordan and I and the committee have talked about the park, one thing that the park needs beyond equipment is is signage because mm -hmm. it's easy to drive right by that park and realize it's not there. And so we want to make sure it's not only an attractive park, but that people know uh, it's there and, and available. We've talked about parking and uh, the sidewalks and how you get into the park. And so what I like about the committee and the diversity the committee has is we're not just talking about playground equipment, but talking about the whole project. How do we make sure that that park can be used by as many people as possible? And you're right, with the fire department right there, you know, a city councilman across the street, yeah. uh, it definitely helps to, you know, have some eyes in that park. And, and I think that everyone will really enjoy it when it's done. 
Awesome. All right. So the vision from uh, Kiwanis and Jordan Tandy and all you guys there. Uh, what kind of equipment do you want to see in this in this park? Uh, update what you've got or start all over? What's going to happen? I think we want to update what's there. What is, you know, paint what can be painted and make it look nicer. Some of it probably isn't enough disrepair. We're going to have to take it out. And then we want to do a nice big playground structure similar to what we did at Hannah Park. So that would probably be about a mm, close to $20,000 of the money we're trying to raise right there. Okay. Uh, it's a really nice play structure mm -hmm. for the kids. So the dollar amount that you're trying to do for phase one or whatever, are there more phases in phase one or what? Well, I think the goal is around 50000 and that would do the, the 20000 for that large play structure. Um, again, some money to fix the equ equipment that's there. Again, we talk about parking, signage, some fencing, and so right. all that adds up fairly quickly. So I think this initial phase is, is 50000 but much like Hannah Park, if we raise 60000 what that allows that committee to do is to either add some things that maybe were on our, our dream list or to you know put some money back again and, and say, what park do we want to tackle next? You know, there are still other parks in the city, so. Yeah. All right, so fundraising is a big thing. You know, Chili for Charity is, uh, was just this past uh, Saturday. And, uh, you know, everybody is looking for some money. There's no question about it. Nonprofits, all kinds of organizations looking for it. So how are we going to raise this 50000 Well, <laughs> we had all the grants we can find. Uh, Qantas International has a grant that we will apply for, and then Indiana Qantas also has a, a grant that we will hope to get. We got both of those last time when we did the, the park. So those will be two that we try. We've applied to Community Foundation. Uh, the Lutherans, there's a... Thrivent or something yes. that they have, which is a small grant that helps us out. And um, we're just looking, you know, a lot of different places. Operation mm -hmm. Roundup will be one, and then we'll do fundraising letters in the community asking businesses and individuals to donate to our project as mm -hmm. well. The kids need a bunch of lemonade stands. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, the one thing I like about the park projects, both Hannah Park and this one, is, you know, how it really lets the city, you know, as we look at the city's budget, we don't have uh, 50000 you know, to put into a neighborhood park. And so what this allows the city to do is to put, you know, 10 maybe a little more than that $1,000 in, offer some city resources through the park department, but then leverage, you know, the significant private investment to say, how do we improve a city park without putting a burden on the taxpayer? And so that's what I think this, and I've talked about this in other communities, is when you talk about fixing a park, it doesn't have to be the city saying, well, we've got to spend 50000 60000 It's how do we leverage these groups like Kiwanis and just the neighbors who would put some money into the project. And, and I think we're building a great model not only to use in Wabash, but a model that could be taken to other communities. And, and uh, one of these, the athletic places, the training places, is doing a fundraiser for us. Yep. And, uh, uh, yeah, one of the one CrossFit. Of the yep, yeah, it's uh, Wadoween is what it's called. And mm -hmm. so um, we have a Facebook page, the Southside uh, Park Project uh, on Facebook. So all Say those... Southside Park Project. Is that one word, Southside? Uh, nope, two words. Okay. Uh, it's always the big debate ever since yeah. I started my campaign when <laughs> we're two words. But uh, we've kept it as two words, but uh, we have information on that. And then we also have uh, a Dan's Fish and Tenderloin Fry coming up here on October 22nd. Um, that'll be from 4 to 7 at the Zion Lutheran Church. And so, you know, people don't think about, you know, I think they think about the $10,000 grants, but really a lot of this money will come... 10 20 30 dollars at a time from people who just come out to fish fry or mm -hmm. who you know mail a check-in or go to a crossfit and do a, you know a fundraiser through them and we hope if the community gets behind us on this fish and tenderloin we should be able to clear 2500 to 3000 nice so we're hoping everybody's, for that to be a big boost everybody's got to eat that's right. everybody so that's one way to, that's one way to do it that's great and dan's fish and tenderloin does a good job for us yeah. so. that's awesome so when do you think this project's going to be complete one of you well, the, the goal, is, as Jordan and I have talked, is you know, right now we're in the fundraising and planning stage trying to figure out you know, what we want it to look like. Uh, the goal I gave Jordan is my hope would be we can do installation uh, early in the spring, and I'd love to see the park completed by the time school was out next year because you know, we talk about when a park's going to get the most use, it's during that summer break. So I know my goal and the goal I have shared has been to, to try to be done by the time school is out in May. Okay. So you're going to have some work days and stuff like we did at Hannah Park? We will do that. Yeah. That was actually fun. The community came together and really... It was fun to see the community come right. together. I actually painted. I yeah, can't I believe it. I know it. Did anybody get a picture of that? Because nobody would believe it. <laughs> and I think we'll paint the shelter that's there 
yep. at the South Side Park as well. Right. There's a little structure, mm -hmm. and we'll probably paint that. And so, Mitch, do your kids currently play in that park? Or? We go over there some. You know, the, the bad thing is the park has gone into so much disrepair. Mm -hmm. There's there's not a lot of equipment that works there. And so we go over there some. Um, we have a nice backyard, so they play back there. But, you know, we sit on our front porch and see um, families use that park, you know, frequently. And, and I know as it's improved and has more to, to offer that those families will be there more. My wife also runs a daycare out of our home. And so, you know, she's excited because she can take care of those, those kids right across the street, you know. And, and so I think it'll be a great way to get, you know, more kids outside, you know, recreation. We talk about childhood obesity, you know, family engagement, you know, and, and parks speak to both of those, you know, getting out, being active and engaging families together. Well, it is a poker stop. From what oh, I remember, okay. when, there is a, so you might see some people wandering around sure. there. I caught a couple Pokemon there, so yeah. I take it you're not into that. I'm not into that, but I know the museum's also a, a Pokey. Yes, stop, it right? is. Yeah, so uh, that's great. And I know one thing we've talked about as well is you know lighting and security. Obviously, if we're going to invest fifty thousand into the park, making sure there's lighting, some security cameras, because we want to protect that investment all those donors made uh, to make the park better. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Judy, you guys do great things there at the Kiwanis Club. This is this is an awesome project. Do you like that goal of uh, that? I do, and that, that was my idea when we were doing the Hannah Park. I thought, okay, then that was kind of my brainchild to get it started. I said, you know, we do things for kids, so we need to do a major project. Mm -hmm. So when we did Hannah Park, that was wonderful. But yeah. now we want to do something else wonderful mm -hmm. and. As I said, that was a two-year vision anyway, so we thought we wanted to do this, and then we'll see what else we can do. Now, obviously, this is a city-owned property, right. mm -hmm. and so the upkeep will be done by the Parks Department. Yep. Okay. Uh, um, are you familiar with Marion's Motor Park and what they've done? I mean, it's just ridiculous stuff. It's amazing right. what it all is. they've done, but they've done a lot of things with businesses mm -hmm. or uh, donors, families, you know, wanting to put a bench or whatever right. is that is that an option are there organizations that can actually mm -hmm. hey i want to do five thousand dollars and I, could you could you name this bench or can you name this slide i don't know yeah I, I think the community i would be, think we yeah. could yeah. I, I know you can get recycled park benches and then there are mm -hmm. different benches around town with a renovation of things and i'm sure we could do that and if a significant donation, mm -hmm. or if they wanted to totally fund one, I'm sure we could get a little plate to put on to yeah. recognize. Because I mean, that's what they've done in Mary. Right, yeah, yeah. Almost every section of that is, you know, yep. I think there's a memorial, uh, like a Vietnam uh, veteran memorial that you walk up to, and that's done by that family. Uh, and so I, I think a lot of that was not even city paid right. for that park over there. Yep. So. Maybe that's just a thought. I just wanted to throw it out there yeah. and give some people an idea. <laughs> yep. It's getting towards the end of the year. People are trying to figure out a way to, that's right. you know. Yep. They'll take money from any source. That's right. There you go. Yeah. Yep. As long as it's legal. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and one thing I've talked about uh, at city council meetings and that I've been out is we also want to hear if someone has an idea. You know, we're thinking from Hannah Park and, and Adam, um, Park Superintendent, has been involved. And so, you know, we're looking at equipment needs from what we think. But, you know, if a family who lives on South Side or who uses that park thinks, man, I always wish there was mm -hmm. X. I'd like to hear that. I'd like to hear what they think that park might need. You know, does it need more benches? Does it need um, maybe something that's more all-inclusive? You know, we're talking a lot about all-inclusiveness in parks now with the new park coming in down by the YMCA and why we realize this park won't be to that scale and won't be all inclusive. If we could add elements that speak to those families, we'd love to include those as well. So I think at this point, the committee is wide open to ideas and we'd love to hear what Southside residents want to see that park be when it's completed. All right, and again, you can actually probably, can you put a reply on that Southside Park Facebook page? Yeah, I, I know you can send us messages because I've, messages, read, okay. I've read some on there. And then of course you can reach out to anyone on Kiwanis, uh, Judy, Beth Miller, um, Jordan, and then myself at the museum, you know, give us a call. Let us know ideas. Uh, if you know where I live, come across the street from on the front porch and right. just have a chat. So, Kwanis has a Facebook page as well. Right. Yep. Okay. So. Well, Mitch Fire, a city councilman here in Wabash, they can get a hold of you how, besides walking up to your door? Uh, the museum, you can, uh, City Hall, uh, I have a Facebook page as well for okay. city council, so if you Google Mitch Figert, I can guarantee, uh, I don't out. think there's any other Mitch Figerts in the world, so I think you'll find me, uh, but more than happy to have people stop by the museum and, and talk to me there. All right, and uh, Judy Ward, how can they get a hold of you? I have a Facebook page as well, so <laughs> yeah. if they would, and if they don't want it to be a public message, they can... They can do a message instead right. of actually a Facebook post. Mm -hmm. And um, be glad to 
find answers for them and mm -hmm. share their opinions. That's great. We've been talking with Judy Ward from the Kiwanis and also uh, Mitch Feiger, Kiwanis slash city councilman slash museum <laughs> slash all the other hats he's wearing. I wish he was wearing a hat today because we're Facebook Live. That's right, yeah, live yeah, it's a little glare I'm there. Messing yeah. with you. You, can tell, you can see I'm not on camera. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put you guys on here. Uh, but we wanted to do this uh, Facebook. It's not live, but it, uh, we'll, we'll make a video and, and make sure it's up there. Um, we're also live, uh, putting this on the radio. Uh, it's a Sunday morning Wabash Talks program. Again, it's the South Side Park Project. Right. And anything else you guys want to add to this, make sure everybody knows about we could say that if anybody wants to do a donation in the form of a check, they could send it to our post office box for Kwan's Club, which is box 699. Okay. So we could get mailed that way for tax donations. Tax deductible to the Kwan's? They could be tax deductible because we are a, I guess we're not a 501c3, but we're something that they still can get those, some yeah. tax benefits. Okay, if great. If they want to do that. And I think just a reminder that we have that fish and tenderloin fry October a 22nd, 4 to 7, Zion Lutheran Church. Uh, that's a great opportunity not only to come support, but all the committee members will be there. So even if you don't want to eat, just come talk to us. And oh, let us and we didn't talks. talk about price. We probably should do that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, children, 6 to 12. Pre-sale is 650 and at the door will be 7 And then 13 and older, adults, will be 850 pre-sale and 9 at the door. That's awesome. Well, congratulations on another great project. Let's get this thing put to rest and uh, put to bed, and, and let's have uh, some work days there later on in the spring. Perfect. We'll let's have a paintbrush for you. Right, I'll do yeah. it. I'll do it. I, I do like to paint big space. I won't trim, yeah. but I don't mind painting big space. Okay, perfect. So, yeah, again, thanks to uh, Judy Ward and also Mitch Feigert. You've been listening to another Wabash Talks here on 105.9 The Bash and AM 1510. Cool, that was 17 minutes. We're in good shape. Should uh, get your 15 out of there. Yeah.